Resignation accepted. The head of the Great Lakes Water Authority will be leaving in the wake of the massive sewer backups a month ago that affected thousands of people. Sue McCormick submitted her letter of resignation last night. Some are glad to see her go, claiming she's been responsible for mismanagement. The Water Authority Board will decide exactly when she goes. McCormick will get paid for 60 days working or not. Our Jim Kurtzner has been on this from the start and has new information about uh, tonight about where it's all headed. An outside engineering firm will still be investigating everything that happened, but we learned today that one of two power cables that go into the Frood power station was accidentally cut underground by a work crew four days before the big rain event on June 26th. Only staff people here knew about it, not top management. I think there was clearly mismanagement. Candace Miller was okay. the first to call for an investigation after June 26. Thousands of homes had basements flooded with sewer backups, costing hundreds of millions in damage. Pump stations failed to remove the water for hours. But what happened with these floodings did not have to happen anywhere near on the scale of what happened. And it's, it's just pitiful to see what's happened to people. One of those flood victims spoke to the Water Authority Board on Zoom. Sue McCormick, I don't accept your resignation because you need to fix this. This is not accountability. Walking away is not accountability. The board was given a preliminary internal staff report. One of two power cables was cut going into this fruit pump station June 22nd. That was four days before the big rain and top management didn't know about it. It was only put into a staff logbook. That was standard procedure. And get this, the cable wasn't fixed until June 30th. On July the 2nd, McCormick said in a Zoom news conference, in effect, don't blame the sewer backups on us. It was not caused by any single pumping station or any single element within the regional system. And all I'm going to say about Sue McCormick, it was time for her to tender her resignation. So I'm uh, glad to see that that happened. Her chief deputy is Brian Baker, also on the Water Authority Board, asking a lot more questions and prompting changes in those standard procedures. It's good we're getting answers now finally, so I, you know, I don't want to be too pessimistic, but um, I still have, have questions that I'm, I'm waiting for. So a lot more to come. The outside engineering firm investigation still hasn't started. When is McCormick's last day? Who will be an interim CEO? And when the search for a new CEO begins? On the east side of Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. A lot of answers still needed. Thank you so much, Jim.